Nation. Hello everyone, it is Steven here today, or SuperBruce91, and today I'm playing some domination on the map grind using the PDW. My score sheets today were the Orbital V set, the K9 unit, and the Swarm, just like usual. And today I went 62 and 2 with this gun. And the game was cut a bit short by my Elgato and my theater mode system on Black Ops 2. So you're gonna miss about another 8 kills worth. But this gameplay went up to 62 and 2. But as you guys mainly all know, the Black Ops 2 DLC called Revolution is coming out for the PlayStation 3 in the next two weeks. But before I get into that, just wanna let you guys know. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video for an important announcement regarding my alpha. channel. So, anyways, so this DLC should be released Hot within the next the two weeks for the PlayStation 3 I'm users, and I'm going to be pretty much giving you guys my tips on these all the DLC maps. Over the next week or two, I'm going to be uploading one video for each DLC map, and I'm going to be telling you guys how I play the map and how to do well on it overall. So the map that I'm playing on is the Skate Park map named Grind. This is probably my favorite map on the DLC Revolution. So I'm just going to give you guys my thoughts on how to play this map. So this little um, strip that I'm going down right now, you guys, it's probably the more dangerous areas of the map regarding sniper rifles and head glitchers. That little uh, car door right there was a head glitching spot for many sniper rifles. I mean, right there is one that I'm climbing over right now. And then directly opposite that is another one just like that. So you definitely want to be careful when you're going across that side of the map because snipers do tend to just kind of sit around there and just pick you off as you try running up there. So this room that I'm entering currently right now is definitely the most high traffic point of the map. It will get you killed most of the time if you just try running in there not knowing what you're doing because there's a lot of people trying to go for the B flag and domination and overall no matter what game mode you're playing there's going to be a lot of action going on in that room as you can see there's a window right there and across from it there's another window lots of people love just to sit up there head glitch their lives away so be careful of that because many people do like to do that so on this map, the key to doing well is to stay away from the edges or to stay in cover. This map has a lot of open areas in it and you don't want to get caught outside of cover because there are a lot of head glitching spots, but there's not a lot of really good cover in this map. I mean, you're either in a head glitching spot or you're in a wide open spot. And if you're caught in the wide open and somebody's head glitching you, there's no way that you can kill them. I mean. There are some parts of this map where you, there's almost no cover, so I do recommend trying to stay in as much cover as you can to protect yourself from head glitchers, because this map has tons and tons of them. So be careful for that. And also, the spawn system in this map is pretty consistent. I mean, that little hut back there that I just killed the guy out of, that's mainly where they will spawn, so be aware of that. And also, at the A flag where I'm headed towards right now, they usually spawn in the back of like those little tunnel areas, and that's really all. That's, like a, that's the only spot where they spawn. Also, um, just like all maps, having good map awareness, especially on domination, is key to being successful. I mean, you want to pay attention to where enemies are shooting their guns at, you want to pay attention to what flags are being capped, or whatever game mode you're really playing, you want to be aware of what's going on. So right now, the video just kind of stopped for the kill feed, and the next round is about to start. Okay, so right now we're just winning by just a little bit over the FBI, I think we're like the Mercs, I think, I'm not exactly sure again. But, um... You want to be um, very Security careful about objective. the head glitches in this map, like I said Securing before, Charlie. because they are the only thing that will really kill you in this map. Inbound. Now this side of the map is personally my favorite map, or side of the map to Charlie be on. I, um, I usually just like kind of trying to flank the B room right now because that's usually where you want to be to get all of your enemy kills. I kind of go in this little tunnel and I just kind of run right into their spawn because I'm right off, like one kill off my orbital V-set. And I know that they're spawning around this A and B area, so I'm just like trying to sneak up and get behind the enemy and not trying to confront them head on. So right now I'm just flanking them like I said. That's the key to really doing well on this map. Don't try getting into too many head on head confrontations because, I mean, uh, just like any other map, it's more beneficial for you just to avoid gun on gun gunfights. I mean, that was gun on gun. So just try 
um, approaching the enemy from the sides or from the back, it definitely benefits you the most, especially in this map, because there's only really three routes you can go. There's two little side paths, and then there's one little middle section of the map. The middle section of the map is definitely the most dangerous part of the map. I mean, if you're going to be going in that room, expect to be fighting a lot of people because it is the most high traffic spot in the map. So as I was saying, I'm just sitting at the A spawn currently, and I'm just spawn trapping them. And that's what I pretty much do for the second half of this game. Call my next orbital be set, and they relentlessly keep on spawning in that area. I have my swarm out and my canine, and they are just destroying them right now. And I'm almost getting pretty close to that nuclear metal, which is actually my fourth, like my second in two days, I think that is. So yeah, really nice on that. So I'm using my V-set to my advantage. I just kind of got fooled by that. I helped the guy was on the opposite side, but I was wrong. And I still ended up getting both of them. I mean, I don't know how he wasn't coming around the corner ready for me, but apparently not. So I'm about to get my another V-set. And that'll bring me up until the end of the game where that gameplay was cut off. So, this map, all I have to say you guys is make sure you stay in cover. Cover is your best way of staying safe on this map. I mean, this map is full of so many head glitching spots. It's key, you have to be in cover almost at all times. You have to know where the enemies are going to be because the enemies will just have, they will just destroy you if you're not aware of where they're just sitting at. I mean, you have to always be in cover, you have to be aware of where the enemy is, and that is the biggest key to surviving on this map. I mean, you have to be flanking them, you can't be taking them head on. I mean, taking them head on almost never really works in this map, especially in this room, because everybody is, everybody's main attention, is at least on Xbox, is focused towards that one room. And trying to take on an entire room of like three or four enemies, it's just not going to work out that way. So I hope you guys can take some of my advice and tips to use on the PlayStation 3. But as for my announcement, so I got a lot of positive feedback on my story time episode. So I'm going to be continuing that series on Wednesdays, unless I further specify. Wednesdays is going to be a new story time every single Wednesday. Got my nuclear medal. So be sure you stay tuned to that. If you enjoyed this video, guys, I would really appreciate it if you leave a like, a comment, and a thumbs up. And I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. It's about to be cut off, unfortunately. But I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you later.